Hey, what's up everybody? It's Vern and I'm back with another video. Okay, the other day a young lady asked me in the comments if I could show you guys what kind of pull-ups you could do with the Fitness Reality 18 XLT Supermax Power Cage. So, I decided what I was going to do is show you guys whether you be a beginner or you be an advanced, what you could do to work your way up to a pull-up or do more pull-ups. So with that being said, if you like what I'm giving you today, make sure you give me one of them Fonzarellis down at the bottom of the page. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. And with that being said, let's get into it. All right, first, not everybody is gonna be able to jump up on the cage and bang out a pull up, all right? We already know that. So sometimes you may have to work your way up, all right? And there's many ways you could do it. Some of you guys are gonna have a lat pull down and you can use that lat pull down atta attachment to continue to develop up your lats and your back to be able to do more work. But there's nothing like a real pull up. So let me show you the first way. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna take one of the safeties out and we're just gonna go ahead and put it up here nice and high, okay? Chest tight, okay? Chest tight, there we go, all right? What we can do with that is we can go ahead and grab the bar, step through the side of the cage and we can work on developing a mind muscle connection for the back, okay? So right here, I'm just gonna pull my back up to the bar. At the bottom, I'm really gonna release, let those, let those muscles really disengage, and then I'm gonna start with what we call a scapula squeeze. So I'm gonna start to pull my shoulder blades together, and then I'm gonna continue pulling that chest up to the bar, okay? I know this is very simple for some of you. Others are going to find this to be challenging because the challenge isn't pulling your body up to the bar. The challenge is feeling the actual muscle groups work that we're trying to work, okay? So I'm going to hopefully get this on camera. But what we're looking for when we talk about that scapula squeeze is when we start start to pull those shoulder blades together. You're gonna let those shoulder blades disengage completely, stretch out, and the first thing you're gonna do is start to pull that scapula back, okay? You, as you pull the scapula back, okay, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna start squeezing those shoulder blades, and then you're gonna let the elbows continue to come down towards the back of the cage, or in this cage, in this case, the opposite side of the cage, because we're doing these from the inside of the cage, all right? Now I would say, just do, you know, 20 or 30 of those and start to develop a sense of when those muscles are working. Once you do that, you can start to advance up. If that's too difficult for you, you can also just grab the cage just like this, okay? Put your feet in, do the same thing here. Start to pull those shoulder blades together and then up to the cage, okay? In this case, I'm gonna step over onto the other side, okay? I'm gonna squeeze that back. And squeeze, okay? Couple options for learning how to do a scapular pull leading into full flexion of the back, all right? Now, Maybe that's easy for you. Now, you wanna get a little bit more of your body weight into the exercise. If that's the case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your safety attachments and you're gonna put them on the inside of the cage, okay? Now this, you do need to have a Olympic bar, okay? You're gonna need an Olympic bar for what we're about to do. All right, now I got my Olympic bar up against the cage, it's not going anywhere. 
Now I'm going to be able to get a lot deeper and I'm also going to get, be able to get a wider grip on the bar. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing from here. I'm going to start squeezing those shoulder blades and I'm going to bring that chest up to the bar. Just like this. Nice squeeze in the back. Okay? You, now, you can start to bring your feet lower and lower. Okay, now, if I go ahead and I really bring my feet way in advance, I'm gonna look straight up. I got this a little too high. But, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna continue once again. I'm letting that back engage, keeping my body nice and straight, lifting my whole body. Body's a tree trunk here, okay? Limbs move, my limbs are my arms, the tree trunk is my body. It's gonna remain. So I pull up, squeeze that back, okay? Now, sometimes people will go ahead and put their feet up on the bench or something of that nature and try to get a little bit more of a, uh, get a little bit more body weight into the pool. But either way, these are some great ways to advance up towards being able to do a full pull up if you're not in a place to be able to do one. Now, another variation, instead of putting my feet way up in front of the bar, I may only put my feet just in front of the bar. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and get full flexion in the knees, letting the butt fall, okay? Now, I got, a I'm gonna, I got a nice long body, and now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull up from here, okay? You have to be careful to not allow your knees to, and your quads to start to help you up. Nice long pull, like going to a long hang. See that move right there? Look at my elbows. And you see the move is, does not, is not initiated with the elbows. All right? I'm just pulling those shoulders down first. And then continuing through with the pull. Okay? Now, in the case that you've gotten far enough along, that you can get that done, and you feel like you're ready to start advancing up. Then you can start thinking about going up here, okay? Now, the first thing I would do is work on my hang time, right? I know it's gonna sound weird, y'all, but you know, if you can't reach up and just grab the bar, just get a step, find your grip, and just hang. Okay? And then you're going to hang anywhere, you know, from, you, if you can work your way up to hanging to for a minute, you're a boss, okay? But just being able to hang for 20, 30 seconds is a great way to start developing the grip strength that it's going to take for you to be able to get a lot of reps when you are strong enough and you have a strong enough back. Sometimes... Uh, over if you're doing several sets, your grip strength is, is going to be what's going to wear out even before your back if you really start to get strong in your pull-up game. However, I would probably recommend a set of uh, body bands, okay? Um, this is not me trying to, as y'all know, I'm, a, I'm an Amazon associate. This isn't me trying to sell you on buying bands through my links or anything i will have links obviously available but the reason i show you these is because i am a personal trainer and one of the biggest requests from me from clients is you know i want to be able to do a pull-up it's just one of those things that is a, a, a great motivational uh goal and but what we usually use is some kind of band the way these bands work is once you can get you know, 10 reps are, it's actually more than that. Once I can get somebody that can get, say, 20 reps using this big, thick, heavy green band, 
we'll move down to uh, the red, or I'm sorry, the purple band. And then we'll try to get, you know, 10 to 20 with the purple. And then we'll move to the black, to the red, and then nothing. I don't usually deal with the red because it already feels like nothing pretty early on. Now, this is definitely a safety risk. You do not want to, <sighs> this green band is best used with in tandem in a group, okay, or, or with a partner because it's so strong that it will throw your leg up there and it'll put you in an uncomfortable position feeling like you could get hurt. And it's so strong that it's kind of difficult to pull it down by yourself. Um, but we got our fitness reality 810 XLT Supermax Power Cage. <laughs> Little dillios right here. So what we're gonna do, let's put the safeties on. And I'm by myself here today. I'm just gonna step up here like this and I'm just gonna work my way in, okay? Now, once you got your foot in here, do not let that knee bend, okay? And now, you can choose to have one or two feet in. All right, this is gonna make it real easy. I probably could almost do a one hand. I wonder, just cause I'm curious. I keep my legs straight. <laughs> no, I still can't do one. I just wanted to see if I could do it. You know, always in for the challenge. But now, what we're gonna do is we just can work our form, okay? Going very nice and long, starting off with that scapular pull, sc scapular pull up, and then continuing. Scapular pull up, and then continuing. Scapular pull up, and then continuing, okay? Now once I'm done, I'm just gonna completely step down. Now this is a, this position I'm in right now, I cannot bend this knee. If you start using these bands, do not bend this knee early. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the band with both hands and then start to bend that knee and pop out of there, okay? Like I said, once you can do 10 to 20 with the band, you're probably ready to start advancing up to the point where you can start trying to do some real pull-ups. Uh, and when doing 10 or 20 with that thing is not gonna mean you're gonna jump up here and bang out five and 10. You might only be able to bang on a few, but everything still remains the same, everybody. You're still gonna start with that scapular pull. Now I like, it depends. I like kind of a wider grip. So I'm usually gripping right around where the uh, angle, where we start to angle out on the bar, okay? The pull up bar here. And from there, I'm still gonna start with my scapular pull up. And then I'm gonna continue. Nice and long, always long, y'all. Don't stop early, okay? Nice and long. And that's gonna be how you advance in to doing a basic pull-up, a normal pull-up, using the Fitness Reality 810 XLT Supermax Power Cage. <laughs> y'all know I'm singing the song. Now y'all thought at the intro I didn't sing it, I wasn't gonna sing it. Oh, I was gonna sing it. Now, those are pull-ups. You also have your chin-up. The difference between your pull-up and your chin-up, your pull-up is gonna be a back uh, a back movement, okay? A, a, they, it's gonna be mostly back. When you do a chin up, that's turning the wrist so that they face you. And when you do that, you're gonna be able to do a lot more sets because your biceps are gonna be in the game, okay? And when your biceps are in the game, you got this underhand grip. You know, a lot of people are gonna be able to do a lot of these right off the, ju right off the jump. So they got nice strong biceps. And that's a big add to the movement, okay? So that's two different type of pull-ups that you can do with the top portion of the Fitness Reality 810 XLT Supermax Power Cage. The last one is a neutral grip pull-up. And that's where we're gonna grab the two inside handles here. And that one is also gonna be uh, even more 
even easier to do because you're going to get a full complement of biceps in this, meaning that you're going to get that long hair and short hair working for you. And you're going to be able to crank these out with ease. All right. So I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys. I wanted to answer that question for that young lady. I told her it today's Friday. She asked me about this on Thursday and I'm, I told her I would have it up by Sunday. So I didn't mean this to be long. Uh, hopefully it'll be very direct and you guys uh, can ask me any questions that you need answered in the comments and I'll get at you. I hope you like what I did today. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I love and appreciate all the support that y'all have been giving me. Thank you for letting me and helping me reach that 1,000 goal. And with that said, love and peace, everybody. Out. Yeah, I'm all in. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the rise, yeah, he kind of nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes have recorded. Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no bitch. Swinging the mist, got me hitting these licks. I get the orders, don't get it distorted. Disconnected, I've been cordless, I've been cordial, I've been exploring. I got a whole lot, but somehow I want more of it. Yeah, I want to tour and put on for the soil. Hey, bruh, remember they used to ignore us?